so I'm talking to the friends I'm gonna do this video on today I guess I don't know why I felt compelled to do this but I'm doing it don't mind my background I have nothing on my walls except for those and some first place ribbons and it plaques for stuff because it's not anything inappropriate it's just cheap yeah so this is I don't know how loud this is gonna get I hope I don't ear rape you guys it, it's going into the red. I see it. I see it. Uh, so, uh, my friend, sometimes I don't know what to call her, but I generally just call her Ghost. Uh, my friend, uh, we've been talking for a while and she mentions this in the video. Uh, We've been talking for a while, and we finally decided to exchange addresses. Now here's the thing, we live across the world from each other, so we can't just like go over to each other's houses and be like, hey, what's up? No, it would cost a lot of money, and a lot of money that I don't have right now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we decided to send each other crap, and she apparently has everything all figured out already. But yeah, so let's go, we're gonna react to a video that isn't mine. <laughs> right yeah, we almost got a bigger one. <laughs> the bigger one was like over a hundred dollars to ship though. So, we did get it. <laughs> That's what I thought. I feel blessed. <laughs> I uh, everything's great, and she's texting me again. Correctly, okay, okay, she said it correctly, that makes me happy. I probably just ear raped you right there. But no, I get really happy when people pronounce my channel name correctly. Okay, okay. I want to say, like, two or three years we've been friends. So, okay, story time, guys. Okay, buckle up, this is a long one. So, we met on Google Plus through a Pokemon community, I think. And I looked at her art, I'm like, oh, I was like, pretty cool art. So I decided to follow her, and then I kind of, like, forgot she existed until... She posted a ship that we both shipped. You know what? Let the haters be haters, okay? So, and I was like, dude, I like totally shipped that. She's like, wow, cool. And I don't, that wasn't exactly what happened. It happened like three years ago. I don't remember what happened, but still. So, I met her around when I was like first came back onto Google Plus. And, uh, okay. Let's put a, uh, let's put a warning. First of all, I was not in a good state when I first met her. And I'm going to be flat out honest right now. She wasn't a huge part of me getting better. But we barely knew each other at the time. I was going through that stuff. And one of my other friends was plus another person who I dated for two years, and yeah, so anyway, which I'm still friends with the person, by the way, because he helped me out with a lot of things, and I was like, never mind, I'm gay. And that's why I'm not dating him anymore, because I'm gay. But, so I met her, and then 
after we found out that we shipped that thing, we started like role playing with each other and talking to each other more. And then we had these two characters and we were like, hey, how about we put them together? And so we did. You know what? It was great. It's still a thing. We still use those two characters. They are our babies. <laughs> so our friendship worked out surprisingly well. I mean, for her being across the the planet from me, it's it's gone good. <laughs> so I'd say she's one of my like best friends now. I mean, I'm not sure what she considers me, but okay. Item was opened by customs for inspection and re and was repackaged by our office. I mean, it could be suspicious. It's from it's from America. We're suspicious people. How many times have you sent or received things from America? I want to know. Like, unless it's from, like, Amazon or some shit, like, so, people don't usually check in Amazon boxes, and when it's a personal box, they usually check it if it's coming from out of country, because they want to make sure there's, like, no illegal shit in there, because, you know, shady, everybody is untrustworthy. <laughs> Don't bust our secret, okay? It's supposed to stay between us. And you also said my name. I'm not okay with it. I'm just kidding. I'm okay with it because you didn't say my full name. I'm only not okay with it if you say my full name, okay? You guys are not allowed to know my full name. <laughs> this bugs me. <laughs> Let's switch it, please. Switch it. I don't know why it bugs me so bad, but it does. Oh, honey, what'd you do to your finger? Why do you have a bandage on your finger? Honey, what'd you do? You gotta cut yourself with that thing. I'm sorry. I've taken courses where, like, knife handling courses before, and you do not have the knife that close to your fingers, honey. You're gonna cut yourself doing that. I know from experience, because... Let me go find my fucking sharp ass knife. Okay, so, this is a very sharp knife. Granted, box cutters are not this sharp, but that is not the right way to open a knife, by the way. So, this knife, sharp as hell. You do not have it this close to your finger when you are going to cut something. Or else you are going to cut your fucking finger off, okay? Okay. I don't mean to, like, be like, I'm swinging this knife around, okay? Okay. This is a dangerous weapon, people. Um, anyway. I don't mean to be like, I'm not, like, scolding you. I'm just like, honey, you're gonna cut yourself doing that, okay? You're gonna have more than one band-aid on your finger. Right, so I, I see the Cheetos! Why is Hillman on the floor? Girl! Say anything. It's not like I'm any better. I'm on my bed. On my laptop while recording this. So, I mean... Uh, not any different, really. I freaking love his reaction because I know I don't mean to make this sound racist or anything. It's not racist, okay? But Asian people are so, like, respectful about their thank yous. Like, I don't know how to handle it, and it's so cute. 
Don't judge me. <laughs> Said my name again. Just casually like flops it on your computer on his computer. Fuck <laughs> you! Oh my gosh, I find that so cute. I don't know why. I'm sorry. I find it cute. I find Asians cute. Okay, okay. Let's get that over with. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ghost. I should not be encouraging this type of behavior. Actually, I should be con encouraging this, but I mean, I don't think you want me encouraging your brother to do anything, but this is cute. I'm sorry, okay? You Asian people are so much more polite than us American people, okay? Okay. <laughs> Better. Are you gonna eat that immediately? Okay, good, because if you spill that on mom's trash, you can that. He lied and ate you there. Yeah, she told me she found it in the trash, so. <laughs> what I want to know is did he get it on your mom's couch? <laughs> Doritos, okay, I couldn't find Doritos. Why would they know that you're addicted to cheese flavored things? You know? Yes. The biggest one we could find. This is amazing. I just don't know how to react to any of this stuff besides saying yes. Bro, see? I, like, when I'm trying to be thankful to somebody, I like to take out everything, like piece by piece, and go like, thank you, thank you, thank you, yes, and like, it's so awkward, like, how else am I supposed to like, react? I mean, okay, granted, when she sends me the, her box, like, I'm not gonna know what's in it, aside from maybe a few pieces of artworks, okay? I will try to record Ray's reaction. But he does not like being recorded. Yes. Same. <laughs> the noises she makes is great. Okay, so there was another thing in here that was wrapped up in a bunch of plastic bags, and she didn't want me to show the plastic bags. No, I did not. Uh, privacy reasons. But privacy reasons being that the Sacks were grocery sacks from a local store. This thing, um, it's that type of thing that you, I forgot what it's called. It's actually a Japanese art form. It's like called a, oh gosh, I can't remember now. Like, I can't pronounce Japanese for the life of me, so <laughs> I'm probably going to butcher this, but like, can Suji or something? Suji, I think. I don't know how to pronounce it. What I did was I put it in a paper bag, like, while it was still, like, a whole thing. I put it in the paper bag, and then I closed off the paper bag, and then I took a hammer, and I smashed that baby down. Like, <laughs> it said one half decided not to crack it at all, and I decided to just leave it because I didn't want to glue any more than I had to. And there were already a lot of chips I couldn't find, so I was like, you know what, I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm just going to glue this bitch together. So, <laughs> basically we used a really strong clear glue. Do not use hot glue or super glue because that shit dries fast and is not easy to handle. And obvious reasons, it dries fast. Uh, hot glue is going to burn your fucking fingers off. Elmer's glue is not going to work, guys. Any strong, clear glue and mix it with metallic paint is what we did. Um, like, not huge globs, but globs onto the edges and put them all together. And you, like, kind of have to put them in a position that they're not going to, like, move around and stuff while they're drying. Sort of a DIY version that you can do is you can, 
I have a question. What was that on the back of it? I don't remember anything being on the back of it. Kim, we were worried about this breaking, but aside from the original break, I don't think anything happened. Did not chip at all. All of those breaks were intentional breaks, so it didn't chip at all. I think the shaky noises that I was feeling as I carried it around was, uh, you know, this. So that's a relief. Yeah. And this is my cute little puppy! No, you have not. I used pep- I like painted pepper with shitty old like six-year-old paint. Like acrylic paint that I hadn't used in like two years. This is where she uh, got a little bit of miscommunication with me, I think. Um, the white paint was not the shitty paint in this. The white paint was better than the brown paint. The brown paint is the shitty paint in this. And she actually had to repaint her. Uh, so, yeah, that was great. Uh, while I'm editing, or while Ray is editing, I do very little editing. Surprise, guys, I'm not my main editor. Um, Pepper is the dog that belongs to Kian, who is... I can never pronounce her f***ing name! <laughs> uh, I drew that. Me? I did? Uh, I originally actually made it for a doll. Surprise, surprise! I used to do things with dolls. Cute, and I think, Kim, I'm gonna make this cannon. Yay! Yes. <laughs> and I'm gonna go get doll cannon real quick. And the thing that was on top of this, which is this drawing, it is shiny. <laughs> I love how the first thing she points out is that it's shiny in real life. I used a lot of silver in there, okay? I should have used the gold for the gold, obviously. This was something she uh, submitted on our site for me. Guys, that took fucking four hours. Four fucking hours. I wanted to die while coloring that thing, okay? <laughs> I wanted to die so hard. I'm like, why is Kim so hard to color? And then on her sleeves, I got hella lazy. And I just colored them in. I didn't even care. Come here. Honestly, same. Say thank you to Ray. Ray sent her that. Okay, okay. Mood. Like, I need to know where you got that stat. <laughs> it would also bring you in here, but it's kind of going through repairs right now, so. I mean, you know what's going Same. Same. Yeah, I love it. I love it, Kim. A I perfect family. You have, you have, you have indeed, my friend.